a lot of people have asked me, um, does homosexuality have a genetic basis? And I would say so far from the studies I've seen, um, I haven't really seen evidence of that. Um, I, it's, it's always interesting because we don't know everything yet, obviously, about DNA. As I said, we're still trying to figure all these things out. Um, we do know that some individuals have predispositions, uh, genetically speaking, towards certain um, diseases. Could it be for behaviors as well? Um, I think there's a possibility of that, but we have to remember that's because our DNA is is cursed. I mean, we, we're living with 6,000 years now of mutations that have built up, and so it's not it may not be surprising. It's just really hard to tie behavior to genes and to genetics right now. We're still not really at that stage. And obviously, too, I always say, even if there was, even if someday that was discovered, it doesn't change the fact that it still is a sin. Um, and, and the Bible makes that very clear clear. And we all have things that we have to battle, whether it's homosexuality, adultery, lying, stealing. I mean, all of us have, I think, certain tendencies towards certain sins. And so the only way that we can overcome that is by the grace of God and by his work in our lives and helping us to be able to overcome, whether it's genetic or not, um, those things that we are as fallen sinful creatures.